Hello everyone, this is Guy, and it's time for a top 10 list. Today I'll be talking about some of my favorite video games from the 1970s. Keep in mind, I never existed during that time, so I can't really tell you what gaming was like back then. Also, just to make some things clear, this list is only based on games that were released in the 1970s, so don't expect games like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Galaga, Dig Dug, or Centipede to be on this list, because those games were only released in the early 80s. Anyway, let's get started. Number 10 is Combat for the Atari 2600. This game was released in 1977 and it was one of the launch titles for the Atari 2600. Not only was this game a launch title, but it was one the game that came bundled with the system. Combat is a two-player only game where you and a friend have to battle each other in tanks or airplanes. The game had multiple levels to choose from as well as a different gameplay mechanic such as invisible tanks or tank pong. Combat is a great multiplayer game for the Atari 2600, and it's number 10 on this list. Number 9 is Night Driver, released in 1978 for the Atari 2600 and 1976 in the arcade. In the game, you had to drive the furthest amount of distance within a time limit without crashing into other vehicles or driving over the edge. In order to do well in this game, you had to drive cautiously because there were many sharp turns on the road. Night Driver is number 9 on this list. Number 8 is Air Sea Battle for the Atari 2600. Just like Combat, this game was released in 1977 and it was also a launch title. In this game, you and a friend take control of a battleship and, you, and it's your job to shoot down as many aircraft targets as you can while trying to score more points than your opponent. Air Sea Battle is a fun and simplistic multiplayer game, and that is why it is number 8 on this list. Number 7 is Pong. Honestly, who doesn't know Pong? Pong was made by Atari in 1972. It wasn't the furry first video game, but it was the very first video game with commercial success. But because there's so many versions of Pong, let's just keep things simple and, and talk about the original. Pong is a simple game where you and an opponent have to bounce the ball with paddles that you can move up or down. The idea is to get the ball past the other opponent to score points, kind of like tennis. This game is a classic and it is number 7 on this list. Number 6 is Adventure on the Atari 2600. Released in 1979, this game gave you the quest to find the Holy Grail and bring it back to the Golden Castle. There are three difficulty settings to choose from as well as tons of items and weapons to help you along your way. Just don't get eaten by the dragons. Adventure was a game-changing experience for its time and it is number 6 on this list. Number 5 is Dodgem on the Atari 2600. Released in 1978, this game was very fast-paced. You take control of a car and you have to avoid the psycho lunatic from crashing into you while collecting dots on the board, kind of like an early version of Pac-Man. If you want to know more about this game, just check out my Dodgem review. Dodgem is number 5 on this list. Number 4 is Asteroids. Released in the arcades in 1979, this game was a shooter that used vector graphics instead of pixels. Your objective was to blow up as many asteroids as possible while dodging other asteroids and UFOs. Asteroids became such a huge hit that it became just as popular as Pac-Man and Space Invaders. Asteroids is still a classic to this day, and it is number 4 on this list. Number 3 is the Atari 2600 version of Super Breakout, released in 1978 for both the home console and the arcade. This version, in my opinion, was a bit better because there were more levels and more different game variations than the arcade version. The game is a sequel to the original Breakout, released in 1976. Your objective is to hit the blocks by bouncing a ball of a paddle that moves left and right. If you drop the ball, you lose a life. The game became so popular that there are many different clones of this game today, such as Arkanoid, Alleyway, and Kirby's Block Ball. The Atari 2600 version of Super Breakout is number 3 on this list. Number 2 is Circus Atari for the Atari 2600. Released in 1978, this game was a lot like Super Breakout in some ways. 
However, you're moving a teeter-totter left and right and you're juggling clowns to pop balloons that are on the top of the screen. The game is very tricky but very addictive at the same time. If you manage to pop all the balloons or pop a certain row, you can obtain a ton of points or sometimes you can multiply the scoring system. Circus Atari is number two on this list. Number one is the Atari 2600 version of Space Invaders. Don't get me wrong, I like the original arcade version of Space Invaders, but just like Super Breakout, I do prefer the Atari 2600 version over the arcade version. Both versions of Space Invaders were released in 1978. The game is a shooter where you shoot aliens to prevent them from reaching the Earth while dodging enemy fire. The game is highly addictive and it has tons of replay value. But you're probably wondering, why do I prefer the home console version over the arcade version? Well, besides being able to play the original game, the home console version had many different game variations to choose from, such as moving shields, invisible space invaders, but the best part of all, it had a two-player co-op mode where you and a friend can work together to beat levels. That was something that the original did not have. If you own an Atari 2600, definitely pick this game up. Personally, this game is my favorite video game from the 1970s, making it number one on this list. But with that being said, this is Nintendo Guy saying take care and see you later.